There are a ton of ways to land on the moon in KSP, but do you know the most efficient way? Tread carefully. There's a reason it's called the suicide burn. The concept for landing on the moon in the most efficient way possible is best summarized by Elon Musk. A slow landing is an inefficient landing. What did you notice from this video? First off, the rocket was coming down nearly vertical. Second, the rocket was not slowing down until the very last second. So put on your genius billionaire hats, people, because we're going to do exactly this. In order to land on the moon efficiently, you need to be in a very low circular orbit. All things accounted for perfectly, you should be going around 500 to 600 meters per second. The estimated required delta V for landing on the moon is 580. Honestly, if you can get anywhere near that, you've done a pretty good job. For people brand new to landing on the moon, and when you're landing in a more safe way, you can easily double that number. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to try and get as close to 580 as possible. Once in the slow circular orbit, we need to burn retrograde until we hit a point above our landing spot just a couple thousand meters above the surface. This should be a very short burn. If my orbit now goes through the moon, I like to put a maneuver node where that happens so I know where my point of no return is. In order to help with this, I strongly suggest you have the mod installed called Kerbal Engineer. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video. This gives us three panes in our view, the most important of which being the apoasis height, periaps height, and altitude from the terrain. The terrain altitude is especially useful, as you'll need to know how high above your landing spot you are so you're not just guessing. Now, once you're about two minutes away from your point of no return, or about 3,000 meters high, give or take, you'll want to start your burn. Now, instead of just burning retrograde the whole time, we're going to be pushing our retrograde marker up. What we're trying to do is cancel out all of our horizontal velocity, so that way we're coming straight down. To do this, keep your craft pointing below the retrograde point. It will consistently be pushed up and away from where you're pointing. Keep doing this until your retrograde marker is at the top of the ball. Once you're vertical, you have to be careful not to slow down too quickly. Any thrust done not vertical is a waste. It's a balancing act though. My landing here isn't exactly perfect, but it's pretty good. A perfect landing would cancel out all horizontal velocity, then rotate to point up, and then wait to thrust at the last possible moment to stop all vertical velocity. I came in a little too low here, so I got a little wobbly. Even with that though, I only used about 660 delta V to land, which I'd still categorize as very efficient. Getting better at this may take practice, and it's harder on areas like the moon, where there are very few smooth landing surfaces. I had to adjust my thrust for the direction I'd have to land on the ground. If you can find a more smooth landing location, you'll have an easier time. So that's the suicide burn. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike this video if you think I'm bad and I should feel bad. See all of you in the next video. Bye.